Hi guys, Frankie PC here, working on a Windows 7 operating system home edition. I uh, just thought I'd show you a little bit uh, of malware here, which I'm just about to put onto the system. Uh, this is something you can come across quite easily. Um, I've seen this one before, it's called Hike Messenger Download. Uh, you may well be searching the internet and uh, looking at various things on YouTube or various things on Internet Explorer and you'll get, a, you'll get an icon box which will ask you to uh, download Hike Messenger Download. Alright, so this is basically a live um, download. I'm just going to show you now exactly what uh, this particular system does. Uh, first of all, off the bat, you'll see that there's a lot of things on the background there that have been uh, greyed out. You can't actually click on any of those uh, terms of use there. But it, what it's saying is you can access your PC from anywhere with a VUU PC. Uh, it's going to put LOLI scan on, which is anonymously gathers browsing data. Uh, it's going to put a super optimizer on uh, as well to, to keep your uh, system optimized and a pepper zip uh, which is a universal unpacking application. So all these things are going to come onto this download without you even realizing it. Um, if obviously if you click the, uh, the terms and conditions and say yes to these terms. Uh, obviously uh, if you read all through this here it's basically telling you there that's, that's what it's going to be doing. But, but you don't actually get the chance to, want to, to say no to any of these. It's going to put them all on for you. Okay, um, so this is the uh, this is the, the nasty little part about this uh, particular app. Uh, is it, it's going to put those on, and you're obviously going to end up with the, with a problem where you can't get them off. Well, let's just see. Now we'll click uh, we'll click next on the uh, download button, and we'll just see exactly what uh, what this system does. Okay, so we're agreeing to it. Okay, I agree to you. Yeah, already we've got uh, some icons being put on the desk there, look, as you can see. All of my icons are being changed on the desktop. Okay, let's just click next on there. And let's click next again. And we'll click next again. And next again. And just keep going and just see exactly what this uh, particular malicious malware actually does. Okay, so we've got our white messenger uh, icon on the desk there. And it's saying there it's unless it's installed, but look what it's done. It's installed all of these extra uh, apps on my uh, system which I didn't want. Optimizer Pro, Pepper Zip, Molly Scan. Okay, so these have all now gone onto the system. We'll see if we can close this off with a close button. So it's let us close that off, and it's now saying uh, I'll just maximize this for you. <coughs> Oh right, I can't have something that was going to thank us for downloading something, we've decided not to. We've decided just to jump back off the screen. Alright, but look what we've got on here now. Um, I'll just drag these over to the right hand side so you can see exactly what we've been given. So we've got a GU player, we've got the Hiker Messenger, which is what basically what we wanted at the beginning, the Launch One System Care, an Optimizer Pro, and a Super Optimizer Pro. Okay, so and obviously the uh, the original um, download icon, which is what I uh, clicked on before I switched the video on. The bottom right hand corner in my launch bar as well. Uh, again, this is just picked up. This is just now clicked up now. Look. So this is just basically uh, come onto my screen. And now we've got your messenger, your emails, and it wants us to put all these uh, to go ahead and have uh, all this toolbar put on. If I was to click on any of this, so again, this is just. Luring me into uh, putting imminent install successfully, so that's now been put into the system as well. So let's click, uh, let's click that off. So we may well have an imminent uh, icon on the screen as well. I don't think we have, but you'll probably find if I went into uh, Google, we'll have a look in a minute. It could well have changed my uh, my home page. <coughs> Again, some of these do this. All right, so all of these are now on the system. I don't need any of these at all. All of these are just going to give me a load of advertising, a load of emails uh, and job mail. Um, okay, so let's go into Hike Messenger and double click on this because this is exactly the program that we wanted to start with and just see what this is. Okay, so it says your app's ready in a moment. It's called Blue Stacks. Looks as if it's something to do with a, it's an, an app player. And it says, do you want to run or save Bluestacks uh, thin installed ITXA? Well, no, we don't, because uh, it's going to put this app player onto our system. I think uh, there's more than enough on at the moment. So we we'll start doing that. So we'll click cancel. And just see if it'll let us. Uh, it's not going to take us anywhere else. So let's just click this top right hand corner across there. That's taken that off. Okay. So 
what I wanted to show you guys is just exactly how you can get rid of all of these icons because a lot of these um, apps here are not particularly that easy to get rid of. Um, what I, first thing I always always do is just go into Process Explorer, which I've got an icon on the desktop here, right click it, Sys Internals Tool, great program uh, for all you guys, IT, IT guys, or anybody who's just generally just wants to see what processes are being run. Well, let's maximise that for you, we'll go scroll down to the bottom. Okay, so this is everything that's been run at the moment. Uh, a load, a load of junk on here, as you can see. Um, you've got an IMGU updated on there. You've got an Umbrella 230.exe by Imminent, which is the that Imminent program that we uh, that we had come up. And if you look on the right hand side, you can see there's absolutely loads. Uh, virus total here, picking out that there's uh, there's one particular virus engine there showing that we've got 29 out of 57. Um, Possible viruses on there. We'll look and see what, uh, see what some of these are saying. But a lot of these aren't verified. Look, no signature was present in that one. In that lolly, uh, lolly scan .exe. Scroll to the top of Process Explorer, and there's Umbrella 230.exe by Imminent again. Again, that's been picked out as 12 out of 57. There's a biggie here, ZUP.exe. That's in the Windows 32. Uh, Sorry, man, just in Windows 32. It's in uh, System Current Control Set, and it's just running into services. 38 out of 57. Let's have a look at that one. So, virus total here, giving us 38 out of 57. Yeah, here we go. So, let's just minimize this uh, properties box. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that for you. So we've got um, this particular, yeah, there you go, 38 out of 57, there it is, file name, nob.exe, quite appropriate. Um, Trojan, there, it's been flagged up as a Trojan. Downloader, generic downloader, again, malware.gen, my bust. Uh, semantic, showing it's a Trojan gen, so, you know, quite a nasty, uh, nasty virus, um, well worth keeping one away from. So we need to certainly get uh, get rid of that. So we'll just click that off for now. All right. So that's the uh, zup.exe. Okay. Let's scroll down here. Have a look right down down the bottom. Uh, here we go. And so there's a lot more optprostart.exe is also running as well. Uh, this PC utilities. And here we go. This is the sort of thing that happens live on the screen for you to show exactly what these sort of good guys do. It's now running a PC utilities pro optimizer probe. It's scanning all of my registry, uh, registry files, and it's going to do privacy files for cleaning. It's going to locate residual files for cleaning, and it's probably going to want me to pay for the uh, pay for the privilege of uh, removing a load of junk, which is uh, just not even on my system. Here we go, look, clean now. It's 2,759 2, items to clean and maintain, and it's going to reduce uh, the system risks on my PC. Uh, I don't think so. Um, as I say my system is pretty clean you know, generally. There are, there's no way it's found all of these sort of files on my PC. Uh, let's just click that off if we can. Ah, here we go. So it's not going to uh, let me click that off. It's going to say, do you want to register me? Uh, well, no, we don't, so we'll try the exit button. Lo and behold, let's actually click that off. But now when we try to do the top right hand corner, it's brought it back up again. So it's saying so super optimizer. Still wants you to register it. And let's now try the quick button. Lo and behold, it did actually get rid of it. Amazing. Uh, normally when you press quit it just but it takes you straight back to the start so okay how do we get all these off uh, of our system uh, because at the end of the day this is now really going to start to bog our system down if we work it to try and uh, continue on um, simple dead easy using this particular program to do this and it's uh, it's the way i go about it all of my uh, removal of viruses all we need to do is we need to suspend all of these processes so we suspend them all, we don't kill them, it's not to start with, it's inhumane, we don't go out doing that. We suspend them all, it basically stops them actually running on the system. And then we can go about uh, killing them one at a time. So how do we suspend them? Okay, well we've got umbrella230.exe up here. Highlight it, right click it, and now click suspend. That's now suspending that particular process. It's saying suspend on there, and you'll see in a minute, sometimes it goes grey. Uh, sometimes it just uh, it just stays. It is waiting for me to uh, to delete it. 
that's suspending that process. Okay. Now let's scroll down a bit more. And we've got zup.exe, which is the nasty file there. Okay, let's highlight that, right click, and click suspend. Okay, there's two processes now suspended, and you can see umbrella230.exe has also now gone grey, so that's suspended as well. And we should see 7up.exe go grey in a minute as that gets suspended. Alright, so let's scroll down. Servicehost.exe, the virus total, not picking up, uh, not flagging up anything there that's particularly malicious at all. Now that's all running quite cleanly. Keep coming down here till the first one we've got is audio.exe. I know that's pretty, that's a good file. Certainly don't need to go ahead and, uh, and delete that one. Ah, that's fine, even though that's, uh, that's a false positive there, 1 out of 57. This one certainly is a bad one, mzup.exe. Let's highlight that, right click, and we'll go to suspend that one. Okay. smsvhost.exe, that's fine, that's a Microsoft, that's verified. You can see all these are verified. First one we come across again down here, which is not verified, which is no signature was present, and that's lollyscan.exe. So we can highlight that, right click, and we can do a suspend on that as well. Okay, so that's now got those suspended. Zup.exe is now gone grey, so we know that's suspended. Okay, so where are we? So we keep coming down here. We've done all this scale, but also it looks like that's the parent. So this is the child. Uh, this could be the child uh, process as well. Uh, so we need to suspend this one too. So we do a right click on there and we do a suspend on that one too. So click, kill the two because one, one will be the child possibly, uh, or it could be this two. A duplicate program has been uh, put onto the system. But again, it's having there no signature present. So that could well be a duplicate uh, .exe file that's been put onto there. Okay. Coming down, we're okay so far. Uh, TechSmith, that's my, um, that's nothing to worry about, that's uh, that I, uh, to do with my Camtasia uh, studio, which I'm using to record this video for you. So let's keep coming down. Next one we've got is SGU Update Service. Uh, that's certainly, uh, that's certainly been flagged as 9 out of 15. So I think we'll suspend that one. Right click it, and suspend that. And safeguard is service.exe below that one. We'll suspend that one too. Safeguard app.exe again 27 out of 56 flagging that up. Suspend that. And also suspend the uh, the child process as well of the same uh, same process. Cloud National Cloud National.exe uh, that's not showing anything malicious on there at all. Uh, but I know that's. Uh, not uh, not supposed to be on my system. I don't recognise that at all. So we can suspend that too. Umbrella230.exe, which we suspended up above. Again, it could be a parent or a child process. So just go ahead and suspend. And IMGUpdater.exe, we know that one. Uh, it's a 13 out of 57 virus total. Like the wheel, suspend that one too. Okay, so I think we've pretty well suspended all of the uh, malicious programs that. Uh, that have been put onto onto my system from all of those uh, icons on the desktop. So this is basically <coughs> the next move now is to actually go about killing these processes. And this is a uh, this is basically how we do that. So anything that's greyed out now, umbrella 230exe we can re-highlight and now let's go and press kill process and it says are you sure you want to kill umbrella 230.exe? Well yes we do. So we press OK. <coughs> and that will now go into red. Which means it's now killing off the uh, the program and, and taking any DLLs out with it to go to the, 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 um, that we're downloaded there as part of the program and start off. So that one's gone. ZUP.exe, kill process there too. Are you sure you want to kill it? Yes, we do. Always do these one at a time, guys. Don't just go ahead and do them all in one go. Just let the computer do them nice and steady, one at a time. Okay, and find it'll, uh, it'll, it'll take them out one at a time, which is. Uh, which is what you need. So again, then Z U U P dot E X E kill process there. Make sure you want to kill it. Okay. So again, what we're doing here, we're literally killing the process completely. And this should uh, this is taking off the system now. And literally, we're on one fell swoop. Right click on Molly scan dot E X E kill process. 
process there. Let's just see if it states the, uh, the child process that way. It may well not do. It may well just only take that, uh, that first uh, process that was put on there. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we need to do the other one. Could have been a duplicate. Maybe it's uh, loaded up. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's cut that with that one too. We don't need to SG up data. Process on that. Notice they're all still suspended there, look, so they're not going anywhere, they're not doing anything, they can't run. It's just gone red, so we can move on to the next one. Kill process there on safeguard. Okay, safeguard again. We can uh, kill process on that one too. trying to get on my system. Probably three, uh, three different packages being loaded on there. Uh, Cloud National, get rid of that one too. Kill process on there. Going back to Umbrella 230.exe. What you can do if you hover across here, look, you can actually see the command line. So you can actually see where these programs are actually uh, resided. So we need to go into program files just in a second and we'll take care. Uh, We'll take the remnants out of program files as well. Okay, let's get rid of the umbrella 230.xe. So we'll right click on that and get rid of that one too. This is a great way of, uh, of getting rid of all your, your processes when you get these. Um, when you get these software packages that uh, you, know, you don't really want on your system, you might want to download a file, uh, something like Windows Media Player. But you know, you're uh, at the back of it. On the back of it, you go all of these various uh, advertisements and programs that just get put onto your system without you really wanting them. And it's, uh, they really do annoy you. Um, all they do is trying to get your email address to send you spam and advertising and sell your data, some through databases being sold. All right, so everything's basically clean on there now. Um, there's nothing else that's uh, just restarted. But sometimes these processes can try and restart on your system. So have a good look. And just sort of the, uh, make sure there's nothing, uh, nothing on there at all. Okay, um, I think we're okay. I think we're pretty well okay there. All right, so let's click that off now. Let's go into program files. We've still got our icons on the desktop, as you can see. But nothing on really running. Uh, so we go to computer. <coughs> Double click on your local disk and then scroll down to uh, where you see program files here. And now here are all of the um, programs that we've just got rid of. Look at the date modified. Obviously today's date being the 27th of May. Everything that's got the 27th of May is where the operations have taken place. Uh, so anything that's been uh, put onto your system today, where I've been doing the, the download, that's what you've got to be looking for to get rid of. Okay, so we've got and so look where we're going. First one, uh, CC Cleaner. Uh, we can certainly ignore CC Cleaner because look at the timestamp 0949. So that was on this morning. So that's not, a, that's not related to what we've been putting on this evening. So Pepper Zip, we can get rid of this one. Uh, simply press Delete. Sorry again if it doesn't let you do it. Okay, if it doesn't let you do it, uh, like, like I've just tried now, just by using all the del uh, delete. What I've got on my system, I've got what they call um, UVK, it's ultraviolet killer. Um, certainly worth getting again if you go to um, somewhere like File Hippo and get ultraviolet killer. It gives the, once it's downloaded, it will put this uh, into your uh, right click um, option uh, on your mouse and you can now force delete. Great, great system. The way to do it, force delete it through the uh, uh, command uh, command line. So if you force delete it, I know it's saying you've got to be moved to the recycle bin, and you press yes. Okay. It says one file was scheduled to be deleted on the next reboot. I press OK to reboot now. I'll cancel to manually reboot later. So I'm going to cancel. So I'm going to reboot later on. Okay. Next one is uh, GU Player. 
a right click and we'll do a force delete on that just in case it's uh, yeah, let's go rid of that one. And we've got uh, control this parental control. Something else has been put on there. Let's just try and all move and delete on this one. Let's see if we don't delete it. Yeah, that has done. So some will and some won't. It depends how they were how they, how they configured. Uh, some nine times out of ten you can just use the, uh, the traditional delete. Yeah, this one here hasn't got that won't let you uh, that won't let you take it off in that method. So now you can try UVK force delete. Okay, so we press cancel because it's gonna we're gonna reboot it later on. And then we've got super optimizer. Let's try and do a little new delete on that one. Yep, that's gone. Common files, we can do delete on that one, I'm sure that one will go without a problem. Okay, and then we've got uh, okay, you're required from trusted to from trusted installer to make changes to his uh, file. Okay, so we need to just try try again, just in case. No, I probably won't do it on that one. You may, you may well have to do that one as a as an admin. So let's just do a force delete. Want it to be uh, the administrator to do that. That's taken out. Force delete's done it. Okay. One system clear. Okay. Let's try delete again. That's gone. Safeguard. I'm surprised if delete takes this one out. No. Yeah. So that's an imminent. The uh, last. Another program that we uh, deleted from Process Explorer, and that's all gone too. Okay, so these are still left over, but these will be gone once we do a reboot. Uh, so obviously, we'll, we'll see that a bit later on. Okay, so we've come out of uh, program files. Another place worth going into. Let's have a look. If we go into program data, we can go back, go back one step to program data, double click. And sometimes you'll get files here. Look for the 27th of May, which is uh, which anything with the 27th of May. That's what's been put onto the uh, system. So that's what sort we've got down here. Yeah, these files here, look, no particular name, we just uh, load of numbers and files. Uh, these, are, these are definitely related to viruses. So let's do a. I'll take these out because these have all got to go. Let's go. And this one here, 25th, 27th of May again, that can be deleted. And this one here. Right click and delete. We don't need that one. Lolly scan. We know that was in program files, so we can delete that. And let's say try again. Let's just do a force delete. Yeah, that's gonna do uh, that's gonna that's gonna delete that on the uh, on the uh, manually on, on the reboot. This one here, 27 to May again, we can certainly delete that one. Okay. Uh, BD install bin, yep, because a bin file, you can certainly take that one out. Okay, anything on the 27th of May. I think we've pretty well got everything in program data, so that's certainly an area where you do need to look, guys, to, uh, before you, you go off doing your cleaning. Just you can do these manual cleans, it makes it a lot a lot easier later on for your uh, malware bites, bites to, uh, to do its job. Right, so we're now going to uh, let's have a look. Go to MS Config. MS Config. To DXA, and we'll look, see what's scheduled to start up. Um, yeah, start up tab. Okay. So all of these programs here: Safeguard, Super Optimizer Pro, uh, Safeguard. Again, all of the, all of these are basically in the run uh, part of the registry. HK, uh, HT Local Machine Software. Microsoft Windows. Now these are all set to run. So as soon as the system was to restart, all of these would run again if we didn't uh, take the tick out of the left hand side here. So we take the tick out of there. Tick out of Super Optimizer. Tick out of Pinterpy. CC Cleaner. I want to carry on. Uh, I, I need that in the run because that's my uh, that's my cleaning program which I have set to start up when the system runs. So I'll leave that ticked. Certainly safe card can be gone. And now we'll click apply. It's saying now do you want to restart the system or well, no we don't, not just yet, because obviously I'm still showing you various things on how to clean this uh, the remembrance off now. So we'll exit without a restart. Okay, so let's look at that area there. Let's go to program files, so we're going to uh, control panel, left hand side program and features, and this is all of your programs that are actually downloaded onto the uh, onto the 
patched up and we can get rid of a lot of these here. Now we'll try and delete. We'll try and uh, we'll try and delete these, but it might not be uh, might not be possible to, to do it because obviously uh, we've, we've taken the uh, the process uh, process explorers should have deleted it off the uh, off the system. But we'll just try. So system optimizer 32. Let's see if it will install. No. It says an error occurred while trying to uninstall system optimizer. It may be the, it may well have already been installed. Okay, so you can just take it from the list if you want to. So we'll put yes, and that'll just remove it from the list. So I think we'll do that with all of these. So all of these have all been removed already. Look, but what this is doing now is just taking them off the actual um, off the list. You can do this in the registry. Uh, I'll, I'll show you on another video how to actually remove anything that's in this uh, in this list from the registry. But um, we'll do it from here. It's quite simple to do. One care system care. Install that. Roll scan, imminent toolbar, restore that, imminent itself, do that, and GU player, okay, and then any send as well, this one here, uh, this is 27th of May again, so we can, uh, and also this Microsoft visuals as well, this needs to go. If you like to uh, to move Microsoft Visuals, let me see the prior the uh, print on the same date. Why well, anything is actually uh, what being prepared to remove uh, from the computer? Uh, it's no good trying to click on anything else in the list here to try and delete it because it won't let you delete. It's got to be done. Uh, one at a time. Otherwise, you won't. Uh, <coughs> you won't let you delete two things at the same time. Not, not even in, uh, in this particular program. You have to do things one at a time. I'll just pause the video, guys. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, just taking it out now. So I'm going to pause the video for you and come back to you because it's going to take a while. But I think uh, it should be gone, gone fairly quickly. Uh, almost there. Send. This is another one which is uh, CML limited. Take this one out too. Okay, that's gone. Well, I think that's pretty well edited from the 27th apart from CC cleaner, which uh, I didn't want to do earlier. I don't want to actually take that one out. Just have a quick scroll down the list in case it's, uh, there's any more. I don't think there is. I think that's, that's basically done all of, all of them on the, on the program and features side. So we'll go, come out of that now. Okay, uh, now what we need to go into, we need to have a look at our auto runs. This is this icon here down here. Double click auto runs. Click run. It's major for you. Okay. So anything that's in yellow, as you can see here, where it's where it says file uh, not found, generally will have a tick on the left hand side, uh, which means that uh, it can't find the program uh, because it may well have been installed now. Uh, but obviously you still need to take the tick out uh, because if you look at here. Um, you can see it's in the HKL Microsoft current version run once, so in the runs section of the registry, uh, anything that's in here uh, will obviously rerun. So you've got Pepper Zip there, Optimizer Pro, Lolly Scan. So you do, you do need to take the ticks out on the left hand side here to stop these from running as well, even though you've done it in MS config. Okay, do it again in here, and this is just absolutely make sure that's, that, that system is not going to run again. Pepper zip is in there as well. Look, it's a menu handler. So take the tick out of there. Wind zip. Okay, that's not a problem. That's just my wind zip. And you can keep the tick in there. And you keep scrolling down now. Anything that's uh, suspicious and those names that we looked at earlier. Pepper zip is, in, is there again. Look, tick it up, tick out of there. Wind zip. That's fine. That's a legit program. Wind zip down there. That's fine. Keep going down. Okay, we're imminent now. <coughs> the web booster. Yeah, file not found look, because we've taken it out of program files. So what it was, obviously it would have been in there if we hadn't deleted it from program files, but we have done. So that's why it's saying not found. But just remove your tick and it's not going to uh, it won't show up on this list when we come to do the reboot. Okay, 
came to the program data there, which is lolly scan. Do you remember we took that out of program data? So I'll come check that. All of these Cloud National, all of these are in the job, do you remember? I'll check all of these. Optimizer Pro. All of these here, super optimizer, I can go. Okay, delete all of those. Keep coming down. Optimizer Pro there. Delete that one. Where will update it? Delete that one. Save car. Delete that one. And then again, NZUB or TXE, which is where processing to power. So after you've taken your tick out of all those that you can see that you know on the uh, deleted files or virus files, press F5. And that refreshes the whole of the list. And you can just quickly scan through again. Make sure that you can be ticked. Ticks haven't gone back in there. Ah, oh, there's a tick gone back in there. Sneak that one back in. Okay, that's pretty well in all of them now. Okay, let's do an F5 again. Another look through. Oh, this time it's gone back, so we haven't put it back in this time. Okay, so also while we're here, we can go into the wing icon. Nothing in there. Log on itself, make sure there's no ticks put into any programs there, nor Explorer. That's the Explorer. No, just wins it, that's fine. Internet Explorer there, ah, uh, yeah, okay. What you can do, if you've got imminent web right here, and you've just got a file not found, you can actually do a right click and delete it completely. Like this, this is how you want to delete your auto run. Web booster, and yes, you do. So you can actually completely remove it from it if you wanted to. Uh, sometimes it will take him out, but other times it won't do it until it reboots. But that one did. So that's a way of getting rid of mock URI of this particular listing. The services tab, nothing in there. Yep, Windows NUB was, was set as a service, so we can delete that one. Let's do a right click and delete that if, if it'll let us do it. That's deleted that completely. Nothing in drivers. No, no malicious drivers there that we know of. I know all of these. These are, they should all be in. Go through all of these guys and just make sure there's nothing ticked on there. Okay, we're fine there. Could be in line. No. Yep, there's one there, which is a, a DLL. Complication DLL. Program data. Right, right click on there because the tick's already been taken out of it. Okay, that's it guys, so that's everything out of there. Obviously we've still got our icons left on the top here now. Um, so what we can do here now, we can do highlight them all. Do a right click and now do a delete. And that sends them all to the recycle bit. This one here is where we started. That can be right clicked and deleted too. Okay, so they've gone to recycle bin. Now let's go into the recycle bin now. And delete everything here that we put in here. So into the recycle bin. 18 items, all gone. Let's click down your start menu. And you see sometimes on the uh, on this particular list here on the start menu, you'll get you'll get other little lemons here which, which haven't which we haven't been which you haven't deleted. So there we are, but pepper zips, pepper zips there. Uh, just right click, it's already highlighted. Remove from the list. Yeah, 
G of player, remove from list. Launch one player, remove from list. Optimizer Pro, remove from list. Check update, Super Optimizer, remove. Remove from list, safeguard, remove from the list. There we go, and they're all gone now. And then you shouldn't see any of the RG oh, players still in there, so we can delete that one because that was a bad one. Okay, yeah, there's uh, one. There's some more left here, so all these have got to be deleted because all these are the bad ones. Delete, take them all out of your list. So that's it guys, so that's how you sort of uh, clean that up now. Um, the only thing you need to do now, to be fair, is, to, is you, you need to run malware bytes. So let's just run malware bytes. I've got it in my malware removal or I've it on the desktop. Somewhere down here. Looking for malware bytes. Okay, so it's in malware bytes anti malware. It's free, it's a free application and it's great for uh, cleaning your systems up and getting rid of any remnants now. So we'll do an update here. Always do an update first. And that's just virus definitions uh, <coughs> for it to scan and uh, cross reference. And then we do a scan now at the bottom. And now this is going to basically do a lot of scanning, uh, free scan operations, scan the memory. Scan started files, scan the registry, and you'll be surprised just what this will find. This will find now, find loads of remnant registry. Yeah, entry still left behind after we've cleaned and deleted all those files. While this is doing this, we'll just minimise that. I'm going to show you another program now, which again, again, it's got to be a. I've already mentioned earlier on CC Cleaner. Get it from FileHippo.com again. This is a great little program. This will just clean up all the registry files quickly. Anything that's left behind again, same sort of thing. Put all the ticks in the left hand box. Don't leave anything out, just to give it in. Apart from three, which I don't really like to um, to have ticked. That's the auto complete form history. Don't tick that one. Unche uh, uncheck that one. Saved passwords. Any passwords that you've got in the system, don't uh, tick the tick out. Otherwise, uh, it'll, it'll take your passwords out and your network passwords, leave that unticked and then you've got start menu shortcuts where you don't want to take those out and desktop shortcuts, otherwise it will remove all your desktop uh, shortcuts <coughs> and window event logs as well ok, so everything else can be ticked you can scan everything so click analyse this is doing uh, internet explorer temporary, temporary internet files now This will enough on loads of stuff as well. I mean, uh, this is always good to do this regular actually. I use CC Cleaner at least once a month and, uh, and do a full, full load clean of the system. It'll actually speed your PC up because it'll get rid of all these junk files. You can see here, look, there's nearly a quarter of a million uh, temporary internet files there. Um, so, a quarter of a million uh, kilobytes of files. There's 1,347 files which is now going to clean up. So, you can see that uh, how much this offloads from your system. What would, would be loaded up. So we can now get, click one cleaner. Okay, it's just going to clean those files up for us now. And it'll again probably bring another box up now saying that there's more files to be cleaned. I'll do a, a, a one up clean now. Might as well have done clean. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a clean. 22 seconds, 22.586 seconds to, to clean that. It's fairly quick. Um, 
So we'll clean again. I won't clean that again. We'll do a second clean. And there we are. So that the clean's complete. But now you can do, on the left hand side here, we can do a registry clean. So click the registry box and click scan for issues. And now this will do a complete clean of the registry. And this has got all of the invalid files in here. Look at some of these. If you actually look at them, see where they are. Look, there's guplayer.exe. It's found that one from program files. Invalid default icon. Keeps going down here. Yeah, there's optimizer there. Look, super optimizers there. So these are all the remnants in the program files. And there's the registry key. Okay, so this is now going to clean all those. So fix selected issues. Do you want a backup registry one? Typically it's not asking you to do a backup here and do a backup if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to do a backup at all at this stage. So I'm going to say no. Uh, I'm just going to say fix selected issues. And then it's done. And then you're going to close the box up. That's basically all the registry cleaned up. Alright, so I've just done that quickly while I'm waiting for malware bytes to, um, <coughs> to finish scanning the files. It's going to take quite a bit longer actually guys, um, probably going to be in the region of 10 to 15 minutes. We're up to 3 minutes so far, 3.5 minutes just into the scan, so I'm going to come back to you on this one. It's going to take quite a while. Alright, but I'll see you in a second guys, once it's, uh, once it's gone through to heuristics uh, analysis, I'll show you exactly what it's found. Hi guys, back with you here, friendly PC again. Okay, so obviously we've, put, we've now got the malware scan has been done. And as you can see here, uh, loads and loads of files um, that it's actually uh, that it's picked up on. I think there's over 59 files that it's saying are malicious, and it needs to uh, it needs to remove them. Okay, so I'll just click this little box off here. Um, so yeah, on the bottom now, once it's done the scan, uh, you'll see a lot of the. Uh, if you look close at these, a lot of these are pops. Look how they're uh, potentially unwanted programs. Um, I don't think it's picked up any particular tro Trojans as such. Uh, there's the imminent that we looked at earlier, safeguard, that's a PUP again. So literally none of these are actually malicious, um, no, no real Trojans, they're just basically just uh, annoying programs that you need to get rid of, uh, as we talked about earlier on. Okay, but these are all the registry locations with the, where they all are. So if we put remove selected, because they're all tapped on the left hand side, and you get threats identified 74. Okay, so it's now removing them. Look, threats, uh, threat scan, successfully quarantined. So it's done all 74. It says all selected items have removed successfully, and a lock file has been saved to the lock folder. Your computer needs to be restarted to complete the removal process. Would you like to restart now? Well, I'm going to click no for now because obviously I'm, uh, I'm going to restart the computer, but obviously it's, uh, I'll, I'll lose you off the off the video, so I can't do that right now. But uh, we'll now click finish. Okay, oh well, there we are. Great program. Well worth to getting this because uh, this is really going to uh, do a thorough job of getting rid of any Trojans or uh, any malicious programs. And that's really it, guys. Um, as you can see, everything now back to order. Nothing on the desktop, uh, desktop at all. And that's really how you go about cleaning these uh, potential wanted programs to come onto your system. I know it's quite uh, quite time intensive, uh, but uh, the particular program that I used uh, just to demonstrate was uh, you know did it did download quite a lot. You don't normally get that many uh, programs coming down with them, but that one was a was a good one to show you. Because um, it really shows you the good use of Process Explorer, auto runs, uh, and program uh, program data and program files, which is what you need to go into. All right, guys. If uh, if you'd like me to do any more videos like this, I'd uh, I'd be you know more than uh, more than welcome to do them for you. If you uh, leave a post on my uh, YouTube channel uh, and subscribe and rate if you if you like the videos, and, uh, and I should be seeing you again soon. Sorry, guys. Thanks again. Bye. Now.